Hey, welcome to Morning English. This is Tiffany. This is Alan. I know after this, Alan, we are going to that clothing market that sells different kinds of apparel. I need more street clothes, to be honest. I always wear my business clothes, but I would rather feel more comfortable. Exactly. I wear street clothes everywhere. I like to be comfortable 24-7. Street clothes are my favorite style of clothing, though. So what about at work? 24-7, Alan. I wear comfortable clothes. Okay, gotcha, Kali girl, huh? Let's talk about this a little more. <laughs> 穿衣服到底是要用 wear 这个词，还是 put on 呢？像 Tiffany 这样的加州女孩，她们又喜欢穿什么风格的衣服？我们今天的节目都会聊到。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Street clothes are just a type of an apparel. Really? Really? It's like it's a, <laughs> it's like. An urban style clothing type. There are many different kinds of apparel, correct? Exactly. Apparel is just another word for clothes, and street clothes are just a type of an apparel. Apparel 呢是 clothing 的一个替换词，它们是差不多的意思，都是服装衣服的意思。For example, tonight when we go to the market, there will be a different kinds of apparel. Maybe you will see some streetwear. Hopefully, maybe we can find you some streetwear so you can wear it to work and be comfortable. I don't think they will let me try them before I buy them. Oh, I see. That's true. Maybe we should just go to the mall because I'm not sure if people at the market will let you put on the clothes before you buy it. But they will have great clothes. But maybe, but maybe you're right. Of course. The mall will let me put on the clothes. Put on the clothes 的意思就是穿衣服，或者说试穿一下衣服。Fun fact: I always go to an apparel store, buy some clothes, and sometimes never wear the clothes. <laughs> That is terrible. Well, I know, but it just makes me feel good inside, Alan. Yeah. So technically, I always have new clothes to put on and wear. Okay, so put on means the action putting on clothes. Yes, exactly. Like I put on my jacket this morning. Then wear is actually having the clothes on your body. So after you put on your jacket, then you're wearing it. Exactly, that's right. 大家注意一下这两个词的区别。Wear 是指穿衣啊，或者说穿穿袜子、戴手套，它侧重于是穿戴这么一个状态，是状态。Put on 是指把这衣服啊、鞋啊、袜子啊、帽子给戴上去，它侧重于穿戴这个。Oh. So I could say tomorrow I'm going to put on my suit and tie. And during the rest of the day, you'll be wearing a suit and tie. I feel like wearing a tie as a guy would be so uncomfortable. They always look really tight. Yeah, 没错。其实还有一个关键点，不知道大家有没有注意，穿和戴在我们中文里面是两个不同的字，但是在英文里面它们是同一个词。穿着西装可以说 wear a suit， 戴着领带也可以用动词这个 wear wear a tie。And I answer your question. Yes, wearing a tie is not comfy at all. I could only imagine. That's why I want more comfortable clothes. You know what celebrity always looks comfortable?、Mm -hmm. Jay Z. Yeah. He always looks comfortable. So maybe you should like buy his clothing apparel. Yes, he wears a lot of urban street wear with a、uh, big shirts and baggy pants. Plus. The chains, street wear 是街头风的这么一个穿搭，感觉要加上很多的链子啊，宽松的裤子啊 ，bling bling baggy pants， 这就是街头风了。I think he dressed, you know, in the baggy pants and the big shirts back in early 2000s, Alan. Maybe not like that anymore. Now he's married to Beyonce and he wears flip flops. <laughs> yeah, really upgraded. <laughs> He wears flip flops, 穿着夹脚拖了。现在已经 flip flop， 夹脚拖鞋，穿着这个鞋子也是用这个动词 wear wear flip flops. That is just how I will always picture Jay Z. 我印象中他就是这样子的。So you will picture him in the baggy pants and the bling bling before he married Beyonce. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I heard from a little birdie that in Chinese it's a bit different. Is that true? 我是啊，没错，因为我在前面就提到了，我们说穿衣服带饰品。Oh, I see. 
That's really interesting. Well, I sent you a link to Jay Z's website where he'll be selling some of his own apparel, so you can go on there. Yeah, yeah, thanks. No problem, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 好的，今天的节目就到这里。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个。视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you guys for tuning in to Morning English. This is Tiffany. This is Sal. Catch you guys later. Bye bye.